see the problem based on elevation of boiling point. So question is an aqueous uh, solution of glucose containing 12 gram in 100 gram of water was found to boil at 100.34 degree centigrade. So calculate the Kb of water at uh, Kelvin per mole kg. So uh, we we can use the formula for one. So one. So directly we will use formula. So delta T and this is uh, Kb into m so delta k is the difference of temperature between high minus boiling point temperature so this is given already here so 100 minus the kb is uh, we have to find out and molality they have given so molality is 1 by uh, weight by molar mass of the glucose so that is uh, 180 molar mass of the glucose is and multiplied by 1000 and divide by weight of the solvent okay and difference of temperature that is 100 so 100 0.34 minus 100 so this is nothing but, uh, but the 0.34 so on solving we will get here kb is equal to 0.51 kelvin per mole kg so this is our answer so now next the boiling point of uh, chloroform was raised by 0.323 degree centigrade when uh, 0.514 gram of anthracene was dissolved in 35 gram of chloroform. Calculate the molar mass of the anthracene. So again we use the same formula and delta T is equal to Kb into M molality. So delta T we have given here 0. Uh, 3.23 and this is equal to and uh, Kb is given at 3.9 so multiplied by weight is given here. 0.5143 and divide by capital M so into 1000 by 35. So definitely here we will get the molar mass on solving 177.42 gram per mole. So here what will be the boiling point of bromine when 174.5 milligram of octatomic sulfur is added to 78 gram of bromine and kb is given here we are boiling point of bromine is also given here we use the same formula so delta t is equal to kb into m so again we can see that uh, t minus tb tb is the boiling point so write here the formula 5.2 multiplied by 174.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 and divide by molar mass of the uh, acid octahedron is there so acid so acid molar mass is 256 so right here 256 so multiplied by 1000 by 78 so we will show and boiling point they are given here so t is they are asking uh, t so t minus uh, this is your 332.195 so this is given here so we will get <coughs> sorry 332.195 uh, so on solving this is this will get here this one uh, t minus t is at 2 so this will get 0 0.045 and t will be your 332 on solving uh, 332 so this is given here 0.15 this is your 15 Okay, this is 15, so on 7, 332, uh, 0.15, so here 3.195, so this is our answer. Molar mass of the organic compound is this much, 58 gram, 24 of this gram dissolved in 60 gram of water. Calculate its boiling point when the vapor pressure of water becomes 760 millimeter at 99.725 degree centigrade. So Kb of water is given. Again use this point formula delta T. So again Kb into molality. So again we can see here, so they are given here. So this is M is given here. So again we can see. So right here 0 0.513 and molality 24 by 58 multiplied by 1000 divided by 600. Okay, so on survey we get here 0 0.354. So now uh, this becomes delta T become boiling point. So this is the boiling point. So we can write here. So uh, T, so T will be your minus 
boiling point of T plus 3.54 which is nothing but the 99.72 so this is your 4 plus 0 0.354 so answer will be yours so this is your 4 plus 4 8 and 5 plus 2 7 and 7 plus 3 you obtain and carry 1 19 plus this is 100 so this is our boiling point okay, this is all basically answer. Calculate the boiling part of a solution containing 0.61 gram of benzoic acid in 15 gram of CS2 carbon dioxide by assuming 84% dimerization of the acid. So acid has been dimerized, boiling point is given and their Kb is also given. So again you use same formula. So delta T is equal to Kb into M into I. Uh, why we are putting I? I by because this is dimerized. Okay, so for dimerization we have to separately. So this is uh, your uh, circuitry benzoic acid. So benzoic acid here, uh, C6H5COOH is the formula. So this is dimerized. So this will become C6H5COOH, and this become two, and this is two. So dimerized means suppose this is uh, initially amount is zero. This will be zero. So after uh, this one uh, uh, combining the solvent, so this becomes your uh, alpha. By 2 and this figure 1 minus alpha okay the total i will be your most of the this one uh, this this the most so most will be your 1 minus alpha plus alpha by 2 so this is nothing but this becomes 1 1 minus alpha by 2 so this is the total value so what is the alpha the alpha alpha is the association of benzoic acid okay so here we can put here so now we can put 2.3 into 0 0.61 divided by 122 into thousand by fifty and here one minus alpha by two so we put this value over here so now we can see here so t minus so already given here forty six point two equal to this value will be zero point two three uh, into so one plus this is it uh, for eighty four point dimensions eighty four by two this become four forty two so one plus uh, 84 by 2 so 1 minus 0.42 okay so this is our answer so on solving we will get here so this is a 0.1334 so temperature will be here 46.2 plus 0.1334 and answer will be 46.334 degree centigrade so this is our answer A 10% mass by mass solution of cane sugar undergoes partial conversion into glucose and fructose. So, cane sugar converted to two product to so inversion of cane sugar as sucrose plus water, glucose plus fructose. So, if the solution boils at, suppose it is boiling at 100.27 degrees centigrade, so at this rate, calculate the average mass of dissolved material means dissolve, uh, dissolution of scan sugar calculate the average mass of the undissolved material and what fraction of sugar has inverted so given kb per water this and this so here so we can see so again you can use delta t is equal to i into kb into m so delta t is given here so plus 100 so 100 minus 100.27 minus 100 we can see it so i so glucose to poor glucose we can see <coughs> so sucrose means the glucose plus fructose so this will be your uh, we can say right here alpha also sucrose convert into glucose plus fructose so in s will be one zero zero and this will be your alpha alpha this here one minus alpha the total i will be your one minus alpha plus this is your two alpha so this is become plus one plus alpha this is become i so we can put here one plus hmm, one plus alpha into 0 0.512 into 10 by 342 multiplied by thousand into 90 so on solving here we get alpha is equal to 0 0.623 now normal mass by experimental mass so this is equal to nothing but one plus alpha so we know this thing so like mass of the experimental will be how much 342 and divide by so this is 
623 here we have to add it put here so we'll get here total 210.7 gram per mole so this is our answer so 7 gram of metal fluoride uh, this is dissolved in 100 gram of water to register an increase in boiling point by 1 Kelvin assuming dissociation of MXX and 100% ionization so ionization 100% so this is your pure ionic compound so KB for water uh, is 0.5 Kelvin per mole per Kelvin calculate the value of X so again we use the same formula delta T is equal to I into KB into M so again we can see here so first you see what is the I so this is the MX so here we will get m plus and x into f minus so again we can use it here so initially this will be 0 0 so after dissociation this become alpha and this become x into alpha and that is nothing but the so i is the 100 percent dissociation so i will be your alpha i will be common so 1 plus x so since i is equal to 1 so we can write here 1 is equal to alpha into so uh, I, alpha is 1 so i is equal to this is 1 so this will be 1 plus x so alpha is equal to 1 plus x okay since alpha is 100 percent is given here okay so 1 plus x we can put here 1 plus x and kb we know that that is nothing but the 0.5 and this is 9 upon 180 will go is there this is the 180 gram they have given here molecular mass and multiplied by 1000 by 100 so delta t so delta t is uh, given here 0.0, .0. Uh, so no, 1 Kelvin says so is given 1 Kelvin so again we have to find out so on getting you will get 1 plus x equal to 4 so x will be 3 so this is our answer so for a dilute solution containing 2.5 gram of non-volatile solute in 100 gram water the elevation in boiling point at 1 atmosphere is 2 degree centigrade and we mean concentration of solute is much lower then the concentration of solvent what is the vapor pressure of solution so i can use delta t is equal to kb into m so delta t is given to salivation boiling point is 2 so they can here 2 degrees centigrade so kb is given 0 0.76 into 2.5 by molar mass of solution and 1000 by 100 so this is the weight of the water given so here if we solve it we will get with 9.5 now Rod's law. We have to use the Rod's law because they have been the vapor pressure of the solution. We have to find out vapor pressure of them. So using uh, Rod's law, R A. So this is Rod's law. So that is known as P naught is equal to P S by P S per dilute solution. So this is nothing but the weight of the solute. Solute is given 2.5 gram. So 2.5. Okay, and then they have given here. Uh, molar mass is how much 9.5 this is the molar mass of the solute so this is the solute and divided by solvent solvent is 100 by 18 so again we solve it so p naught is given 760 minus ps we don't know ps we don't know and this we solve it is given 0 0.47 so definitely here the pressure of the solute will be 724 millimeters so this is the answer of this questions